Hello everyone, Steve Jackson from Imprintables Warehouse here and today in this training timeout I'm going to show you some of the alignment tools in Corel Draw and a couple of neat little tricks that you could do with them and some of the alignment options for snapping to objects or points in, in Corel Draw. So we've got a blank document here right now and I'm just going to draw a couple of different squares and we'll get a few of them on here in different spots, it doesn't really matter where they're at and then I'll go through and add some color to them. So we'll make this one red, this guy here we'll make it green, um, a blue one, maybe a purple color here and then this last one we'll make this aqua color. Now let's hit F4 to zoom in on them a little bit. You can see none of them are aligned anywhere in there but I can take and say I take these two right here and I want to have them aligned in the center I can press the C key and that will put them aligned in center, right down the middle of it. So I'll hit Control Z. Say I want them aligned horizontally. If I hit E, it aligns them horizontally just like that there. Now you can see all of your alignment tools. If you go up to Arrange here at the top and then go to Align and Distribute, you can see all the shortcut keys. And as everybody who's watched any of my videos knows, I love the shortcut keys in Corel Draw. You can see them all listed right down here and all of them are pretty intuitive except for the horizontal which is an E because uh, H is already assigned to some other shortcut within Corel Draw. So you've got all your shortcut keys and they're listed out right there. So you can do it across a couple of them like this. Maybe I'll move this guy over here and spread it out a little bit. Or I can take that, oops, take that whole thing and select everything in here. And now if I do say T, they're all aligned at the top. Oh, I missed the guy down at the end. Let's shift and add him and hit T. And now they're all lined at the top. Now it's important to note that everything dropped down there. That, that was actually a, a good mistake. It allowed me to show you that everything dropped down to match that. What happened is whatever you choose last. So if I choose all these right here, and then I hold the shift and add this guy as the last one, and I hit T, they're all going to drop down to match that. I'll hit Control Z to put it back. But if I grab this one first, and then hold shift and select the rest of these to add it to the group and hit T, you'll notice that that one rises up to meet the other ones. So you can manipulate how you're going to have the different objects align with each other that way also. Um, the whole group here, if I were to put E, they're all going to be horizontal right there, or C all in the center and they kind of stack on top of each other. So you can see you've got a lot of um, different tools that we can work with right there, but let's look at our snapping. Uh, functions within CorelDRAW. If I grab this guy here and I want to bring it over, I can hit it to the edge, to the midpoint. And you can see that highlighted on the screen there a little bit. Um, up here it's edge and midpoint again, but I can't get the edge to edge. I can't get these two there. Well, a lot of people grab these and they'll grab it by the center of the object. It's kind of just how we flow and intuitive for us to grab the center of the object to move it around. What I'm going to tell you to do though is grab the edge of it. See how it's highlighted on edge right there? If I grab this one and bring it over, now the edges match up and they lock to each other. You see how I can get it to lock to it? And then when I let go, we zoom in, we can see that those are matched perfectly on the edge. So all these snapping two functions are under tools, options, and when we go to our options, you can see snap to objects and we can tell it all the different places that we want to snap to text base, line, center, edge, everything in here I can select or deselect all give it a different radius of where it will pick up that edge and snap to it snap to the page there's all sorts of different options in here and you can kind of customize as to however you want to do it and whatever makes sense and is comfortable with you when you're working in Corel so not a real long tutorial on this one uh, but it is a great little uh, training time out for everybody uh, just some of the alignment tools within Corel Draw. Hopefully it helps you out with some future projects. And I'll see you in the next training timeout. Thanks for stopping by.